Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Frame Relay. In particular, with Frame Relay, we're going to show you how to implement a back to back Frame Relay connection between two Cisco routers. So, what we have in the diagram is two routers, router 1 and router 2. And normally, to implement Frame Relay between the two routers, you would either use a Frame Relay switch which you can replicate in GNS3 or you are using a router as a frame relay switch. So in this case we're going to show you how to implement what's called are known as back-to-back -back frame relay. So let's go ahead and get into the routers and get them configured. Again this is a pretty simple lab to configure. However for all you going for your CCIE you must know how to configure back-to-back -back frame relay. It's part of the CCIE syllabus. So let's go ahead and name router one host name is going to be R1. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. R1 is going to have the host name of R1. All right, let's get router two started. And what we're going to see when doing this is there's a a couple of differences when you are running frame relay back to back as to as compared to running it with a frame relay switch in between the two routers. So again the host name for this router is going to be R2. And there's several ways to do this. The most known and common in a test environment is to just have one side be the DCE one side be the DTE and what we're going to do is turn off keep alives on the serial interface we do not need the logical management interface or LMI to run in this situation since there is no frame relay switch there is another way in which you can do this where one of the sides would be act as the frame relay switch and process LMIs, but that's not the way we're doing this in this lab. I'm just going to show you one of the most common ways. So let's get this started. Let's go under, and as we can see from our diagram, serial 00, zero is connecting both of these routers together, router 1 and router 2. So let's go under router 2. If we do serial 00, zero the first command when we are doing any thing with frame relay we have to specify frame relay encapsulation under the interface so we'll do encapsulation